Hello everyone. In my video today, I will be taking a look at the Zen browser. This browser has been making a lot of waves in the online software communities recently. The reasons for this may be due to the attractive looks and customizability, as well as the unique features that it possesses. When we first launch the Zen browser, we are met with an initial setup process. Primarily, we get to select the accent color from a collection of pastel tones. Additionally, we likewise get to choose the base theme. The next preference we get to change is picking the default search engine we want to utilize. We are then dropped into the home page of the browser. As it says here, Zen is based off of Firefox, but visually speaking, it's more akin to something of the likes of Vivaldi. They've also adopted a more unconventional approach with regards to how the browser elements are usually presented. For instance, they move the window tabs from the top to the side. Additionally, the sum two of our elements are made more prominent and positioned at the bottom left. Commensurate on personal inclination, this can either be a welcome design choice or an annoyance. What should be noted though, is that you can do these changes yourself to Firefox. You can even go further and find two niche UI aspect to your own predilection. On the other hand though, if you prefer this layout and do not wish to write your own CSS, then using Send would be the more depth choice. I believe they make other under the hood alterations that differentiate it from vanilla Firefox. Things like better defaults for a more effective privacy experience. In their main page, you are presented with options to download Zen to visit their theme store and additionally to read the release notes. The theme store is interesting, I'd like to see how it differs from the regular Firefox one. They also have a page for useful information. We can read their privacy policy, view the source code and learn more about the browser. They also have a Discord channel if you want to join and request support. Moreover, they also have their assets listed here along with some documentation. When I go through their privacy policy, I find that they don't collect any data whatsoever. The only data collection that does happen is in relation to Firefox. All of these can be toggled off though, so no worries about that. There is nothing noteworthy in the extensions, themes and plugins section. Something that you should know though is that at the moment Zen lacks any support for DRM. This is due to the absence of a wide bind license. What this means is that you will not be able to stream content that uses digital rights management. This will include sites like Netflix or Spotify. You can get a full list of the sites on the Zen browser's FAQ page. The Zen developer did mention that this was due to the expensive licensing fee, which is understandable. Let's go into the general settings. We see that we mostly have the same options as in Firefox with some extra additions. For example, this look and feel option is not there in regular Firefox. Here you can change the accent colors, you may remember these from the setup process. You have a decent selection of various colors to choose from. All of them look very nice, but I'll stick with the teal accent I chose before. They also have an option to enable compact mode. This mode automatically hides the side panel. If you prefer a more minimalist look, then you can enable it here. You can also hide the URL and toolbar as well. Furthermore, you can also enable or disable the side panels if you wish. In the same way, the layouts and tabs can be hidden too. Another neat feature are the workspaces. I believe that this will be similar to how desktops do it. It does seem interesting and I'll check that out later. In the key binds page, we have various key combinations to interact and change the views. I'll try changing the view to show you how that looks. We can see that it splits the page into a column layout. So the tab I opened earlier goes to my right, and the recently active page goes to the left. If you were referencing papers or perhaps you needed to view two tabs at once, this would definitely be a useful function. You can close the split with the associated key binding. This is one of the main features of Zen, something you don't get on other browsers at all. Another thing that is interesting with Zen though is the fact that you can have two different search engines for the different modes. You can have something like Google on normal mode, but when in a private tab you can put a default engine as DevTapGo. 
This is another feature unique to this browser. This then also enables the Firefox Lab options by default. Here you can try out the more experimental features of Firefox if you wish to do so. The next thing I want to check out is the theme store. I know that Zen makes it their policy to only allow open source themes, so you most likely won't have to worry about malware. As you can see, the themes extend to even UI elements. This is a lot of extensibility for a browser and I can see how in the future this would allow for high customization. Typically in regular Firefox, to perform similar changes like these, you would have to do it manually by writing a CSS file and placing it in your profiles folder. But here you can avoid all that hassle and simply use the components you like by simply adding them. I'll try installing one of these themes so that you guys can observe the process. The theme I will install is one that displays the private browsing signal on the toolbar. As you can see, the installation was pretty quick. And if I open a private tab, you can see that it does enable the incognito icon. For reference, if I remove it and relaunch a private tab, you will notice that the incognito logo has disappeared. Though this may seem trivial, the fact that we can manipulate UI elements like these so easily gives credence to the possibility of creating a browser distinctive to our own taste. This will allow members of the community to contribute various designs that everyone can conveniently install. For someone who wants a browser that looks appealing and is very customizable, while also having the accessibility of Firefox, then I would definitely suggest you check it out and see how you like it. In the future, as the browser gets more development and support, I suspect that it will become a very popular choice. In conclusion, you can think of Zen as a more attractive version of Firefox, which has a modern aesthetic along with the advantage of having the extensibility of Firefox's extension framework. Anyway, this has been my video on the Zen browser. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.